Hello, hi everybody. I am Whitney Nicely and I've got your real estate daily topic. I've got the four different reasons that you need a real estate portfolio and I know all of your excuses as to why you're not invested in real estate. Okay, so let's talk about that for a second. You have no money. You don't, you don't have any money. You're, you're barely paying your bills right now. You're making the mortgage payment. You're going out to eat every night. You're doing this, that, and the other. And you just don't have any money. How in the world are you going to become a real estate investor? It's like impossible. All right, well, as long as you think that, that will be the truth. Henry Ford said, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So when I tell you in my post that next year I'm going to be a big deal in real estate and I'm going to call up the flippers, the DIYers, the HGTVers, and I'm going to be like, y'all, what are you doing? You're killing me over here. It's not if I become a big deal. It's next year when I am a big deal. Okay, because there's a little bit of warm up there. <laughs> but seriously, you have the money to get involved in real estate. But Whitney, my credit cards are maxed out. All right, is that how you're going to live the rest of your life? Is that the way you're going to teach your kids to live the rest of their life? Are you going to teach them to get a 401k and an IRA and to stash some money under the mattress and bury some out in the backyard so that it's still there, it's still safe, but in 10 years when you go to get it, it's not worth as much as it was when you put it in the ground. That's called inflation in case you're wondering. All right. So the first reason you're going to tell me that you don't think you'd be a good investor is because you don't have any money. Well, last night I shared and I'll share it again tonight. If you go to start.whitneynicely.com, I've got a video and I will walk you through three different ways that you can buy houses with no money. Okay. So you got no money. I say you can be a real estate investor. Okay, second reason is you've got bad credit. You got no credit. You couldn't get a primary house in your name. Heck, fire, when they pulled your credit to get an apartment, you were worried you didn't have good enough credit to get in an apartment or to get a rental house if your landlord actually pulled credit. But you go to bed every night and you sit up late watching those shows and you say, I'm going to do this one day. All right, what are you waiting on? Because the excuse that you don't have credit to become a real estate investor is false. Uh, I can see who's chiming in on this video and there's two of my sellers on this video. So sellers, if you would, please, if you feel like it, no pressure. Did you pull my credit when I bought your house? The answer is no here because the way I buy houses, nobody pulls my credit. I could have completely crap credit and go buy houses. You can have bad credit and go buy houses. Okay. And again, in the video, start.whitneynicely.com, I will show you three different ways that I buy houses with no money and no credit. Okay, the third thing you're going to tell me is that you don't know anybody in real estate. You don't have any connections at the bank. You don't know a bunch of contractors. I'm calling baloney on that too. Because when I go talk to my sellers, not only do they not pull my credit, I tell them that I'm not going to the bank. And that I don't have a pocket full of cash. I'm not. one of those buyers and guess what y'all I buy as many houses as I want to because you can buy as many houses as you want to if you're not putting any money down if you're not using your credit and if you're not going to the banks 
But you know why people don't talk about this a whole lot? And this is a secret. The banks make money when you go get a loan. The credit bureau makes money by deciding what your score is. All right? And your boss makes money when you go clock in every day so that you can afford that nine to five job. That's right, so you can afford to go to that nine to five job. So let me ask you this, okay? If it takes no money, no credit, and no banks to buy houses, what are you waiting on? I mean, seriously, what are you waiting on? You're waiting on the kids to graduate. You're waiting on the kids to all be in kindergarten. You're waiting on retirement. You, I mean, you could be waiting on a lot of things. But when you wait and wait and wait, you know what happens? Life. Life happens. Because you didn't make it a priority to set up your portfolio, to set up your retirement, to set up your fun fund. Okay? I went from zero houses to 17 houses and 19 apartment units in like less than 24 months. Why can't you do that? There's no reason you can't do that. And I know there's no reason you can't do that because I did it. And know what's great about you getting into real estate like that? I made some mistakes. I know, shocking, okay? But I've already learned those lessons. There's no sense in you going out and trying to figure it out. The other thing is, if you go and try to figure it out and you're just kind of winging it to see what's gonna happen, see if you're gonna like it, you dip your toe in, you're probably going into it completely blind where you don't have a plan, you don't have strategies, you don't have a system in place that if something starts to go wrong, you can fix it before it becomes a $50,000 mistake. But if you're just out there kind of winging it, freelancing it, you get what you're going to put into it. If you have somebody behind you that says, do this, do this, do this, check this, that, and the other, fill out this form, that form, and notarize this one, it's like a no-brainer. I mean, think about it like this. If you were going to go on a cross-country trip, would you go to Staples or Office Max or I don't even know where and order a map? Get a map? Probably not. Would you go to MapQuest? and type in what you want and print it all out and then take this two little pieces of paper with you to get you to where you're going? <laughs> if you're still doing that, that's cool. But I think most people stopped doing that about 10 years ago. <laughs> no, you would plug it into your phone, wouldn't you? If you wanted to go somewhere, you would plug it in, you'd ask Siri, how do I get here? And you'd just go. Well, those are the same three steps a new real estate investor takes. There's the DIYer who is going to go get a map, write it all down. They're going to measure it all out, take the legend, figure out how long is 100 miles and multiply it by the times and what if we take a party break. And they're going to do it the hard way. And it's going to take them a lot longer just to even figure out how to get there. The semi-savvy investor would do the second route. And they would go to MapQuest and they would print it out before they left the house. So they didn't have to sit down and do all the research and all the figuring out. They'd take a couple different steps. They'd know a little bit better plan. But the best traveler and the traveler that you are, you would put it into Google Maps or Apple Maps or whatever, and when you pulled out of your driveway, you would say, take me here, and you would just follow it. And that's what the good investors do. They find somebody who is where they want to be, and they saddle up. Take me there.
Tell me what to do. I'm going there. So, do you want to be a mapper? Do you want to be a figure it out the hard way, trial and error, down into the nitty gritty? Or do you want to just plug and play it? Because it's a system just like following a map. It's a system. It says turn left, you turn left. I say, call this person, say that. You call them, say that. You're buying houses. It really is that simple to get into real estate. And so the title of this video is four spots. I have four spots left and I want to get on the phone with you tomorrow. I don't want to wait until Monday. I don't want to wait until the end of the month. I don't want to wait until you pay all your other bills and then figure out what you have left because I can tell you right now what you have left is pathetic. Isn't it? After all your bills are paid for the whole month and you sit down and you really look at what you have left, it's not a happy feeling. And I know it's not a happy feeling because I've been there. I've taken a hard look at what I'm bringing home, what I think I'm bringing home, what I'm spending, and what I'm actually spending. And let me tell you, it's a lot different in black and white than it is in my crazy girl brain. And like I said yesterday, I don't know anybody that makes enough money. I don't know anybody who says, yeah, wit, I make all the money in the world. I'm totally fine. I need nothing else in life. Most people I talk to are like, Okay, well, I could actually use another 500 bucks. I mean, I'm okay. I pay all my bills, but there's nothing left at the end of the month for a retirement or a savings account or a vacation or, you know, a car situation. There's nothing left for that. Golly day, how long do you want to live like that? Are you really going to live like that until you're 65 and then wake up one day and be like, crap, never bought those houses like that girl was telling me to do. Oh well, I guess I'll just live on my savings. If you're not building a real estate empire, if you're not collecting a house or two, you know, I want you to collect a house or two every month. But if you're more in the age or the mindset that you want to tiptoe into it and you just want to get one or two houses a year, that's fine. If we can get $500 extra off of one or two houses, then that's 500 bucks extra in your pocket every month. That's $1,000 extra a month. And then the next year we get even more. So now you're looking at $2,000 extra every month. Would $2,000 every month change your life? Especially if you don't have to put any money down. You don't have to have your credit pulled. You don't have to do, you know, the normal real estate stuff. What if you made an extra $5,000 a month? How much do you need to retire? Because if that's your goal and you want to retire when you're 45, it's time to get to it, y'all. Because life isn't getting any cheaper. Real estate isn't getting any cheaper. And my program is filling up. I am talking to people every single day. I am signing up new people every single day and I'm only gonna take a certain amount. So here's my altar call. I'm gonna put the link in when I get done with my video. You can watch the video, see what I have to say, or hell, if you want to, I don't even care if you just go straight to the scheduling page and book a call with me tomorrow because I've got four spots left. This morning, I had six spots. I had two people today say, you know what, Wit? I'm in. I want to be a real estate investor. I'm tired of fiddle farting around. I need more money. And the only way to get it is to work with you. So they're in.
they're getting started. Those people that I got today, they're a day ahead of you, but that's, that's not much. Don't let them become a year ahead of you, two years ahead of you. Don't wait three or four years because in those three or four years, you've lost out on, I mean, $100,000 probably. Depending on where you are, you may have lost, off, lost out on half a million dollars. How are you going to like that going to bed thinking by the time your kids graduate high school, you've lost half a million dollars? That would have paid for their college. That would have paid for her wedding, her big fancy wedding. But you didn't make the time for it. That's on you. It's not on me. I got my houses. I'm rocking and rolling. I'm good to go. I am on track to retire when I'm 40. Are you on track to retire when you're 40? Are you on track to retire when you're 65? I don't know. But I know that I sleep better at night knowing that all I do is re repeat the system, buy another house, and make more money. Start.WhitneyNicely.com I got four spots left. And yes, I'm talking to you. It's time to stop with all these excuses and get to it. So, if you want it again, it's start.WhitneyNicely.com You can watch the video, three different ways to buy houses with no money, no credit, no banks, all that jazz. Or I'm also just going to drop the schedule a link in here, and if you want to just skip straight to that, then you can schedule an appointment to talk to me tomorrow. I've got, I've got a lot of openings tomorrow, but only four spots left to get started. So, there you go. I will be back sometime tomorrow. Y'all go ahead and sign up. I hope I am slammed with appointments tomorrow. I hope you get out of your fear, get out of your own head, and start putting one foot in front of the other to achieve your dreams. Because I'm telling you what, that knight in shining armor you've been waiting on to come achieve your dreams, he's sitting on the couch next to you. He would love for you to take the initiative to get up and go and do something. Make something. Get outside the box. Get outside the house. Stop watching so much TV. Go make the magic happen your own self. Okay? Start.WhitneyNicely.com I'll see y'all tomorrow.